all I want to do is just get to park my car at Deep Gap parking lot. And this guy, the guy in front of me is my shuttle driver to take me to Teleco Gap. But it is almost nine o'clock in the morning and I was hoping to get on trail by 10, but this is just killing me. This guy is 20. Man, I speed and he's going 25 miles an hour now. Wow. And what the? And as you can see, it's raining. Uh, so I have that to look forward to. So anyhow, uh, <laughs> this is crazy. And you know, there's nobody behind, so for this is not a highly traveled road because we've been going this uh, speed. Oh, we've got a car behind me. Uh, this speed for a good 10 minutes, 15 minutes now. And this guy just needs to pull over, let us get by. So well, it's about 11.30 on Wednesday morning the 27th. And I just got dropped off at Teleco Gap. Uh, and I am going to be hiking 43.8 miles in the next few days to Deep Gap, North Carolina. And there's uh, the view. And I am fixing to be on the trail. And I am on the trail now. So back to it. It's been a long time. A little over an hour and a little over two miles in and it's really, really foggy up here. It's like an enchanted forest. Um, as you can see back behind me that's uh, where I came from and it looks like I normally would have a, a nice vista of the valley below but as you can see we're socked in it's breezy and foggy and luckily I haven't had any rain yet even though it's supposed to be thunderstorms um, but I'm just uh, enjoying this as I can uh, stay dry as I can for as long as I can. So uh, if it does rain, I'm, I'm ready for it. So just look at that enchanted. It, it just, it's like a dream here. This is just so beautiful. And uh, it would be great if it was clear and sunny so I could see the valley. But this is pretty cool too. Okay, I'm back at it. Talk to you guys later. Well, I'm just about five miles in. It's raining. So I got my wet weather gear on. I got my pack cover, my raincoat. I got my rain kilt on and my rain gaiters. So I'm rain ready. And I'm listening to bluegrass music. And it is great for the trail. It just fits in really well. And burning town gap coming into a flat land i've been descending oh, for about a mile now so what goes down must come up so 
kind of cool to see flat land a little bit. Up shaking. Shaking the camera because I'm taking the steps. Ah and there's where the trail picks up. This is a nice little parking area. As you can see how foggy it is. It's been foggy all afternoon. And there's where the trail picks up. Burning Town Gap. This is like a rainy Sherwood forest. It's uh, been raining. And there's the trail down there. That's where I'm going to. And we're going to do it. So. I'm not too far from why I bought shelter. But this is just enchanted. Look at the fog and the rain. It's just pretty special. I just passed a fella named Splinter, who is a through hiker. He's 68 years old, and he had two miles to go from 19 miles today. God, it just, it's amazing. He is uh, gonna meet his son at Damascus, Virginia, on the 15th so he's gonna be booking it I think he can do it if he can do 19 in this weather and it's amazing so it's almost five o'clock I've gotten a little over eight miles in and the rain has stopped. I'm taking a beef jerky break. Um, and right, this campsite right here is at the intersection of the Wyabald Shelter, which is that away. And there's a, a spring over that away. Um, just catching my wind here, and I'm gonna hike up probably about another mile and a half to Wyabald. <coughs> and I'll probably push beyond that to there's a campsite another mile or two beyond that. I'll probably get there about seven o'clock, uh, quickly uh, set up camp and um, hang my bear bag and uh, get some sleep. Okay, that's uh, about it for now. Talk at y'all. Well, that is the view that you would be seeing if it was a good day. But as you can see, it ain't. Uh, it is, what time is it? It is 5.45. I started at 11.27 um, and I've been 9.4 miles in the rain. And I'm going up here to the Wyabold overview so I can take off my pack and rest a bit. Probably got about a mile and a half to go. And it is raining. Cats and doggies. And I don't get any. The rain is vertical, so it is wet up here, as you can see. So, I'll mix it down. Well, huh, this is miserable. Anyhow, underneath here, there's a, at the very bottom on the other side, there's a little in space that I can take off and rest. So I'm gonna do that right now because I'm not getting any shelter from the storm here. 
Adios. There's why I balled up there. And I'm walking in the misty rain at six o'clock at night. I've done 9.5 miles. And I got two miles to go before I get the campsite and set up, hopefully not in the dark. But this is the path to the parking and that'll get me back on the trail. This, <laughs> this is just soup. Well, I will have almost 12 miles when I finish for the night and the training uh, for Lady Thompson Park, I guess is uh, paying off. So let me focus on getting on the trail and I'll talk at you later.